Gen Tachibana is a superfan of once famous Japanese actress Chiyoko Fujiwara and plans to make a documentary about her career and the reason why she left the film industry. Living a quiet life away from the limelight, a Setsukohara-like figure, Chiyoko has her memories rekindled once Gen offers her a gift, a special key Chiyoko once held dear, having lost it on set decades before. As Gen's interview with Chiyoko progresses, memories and dramatic career intermingles into a reflection of Chiyoko's love for an elusive artist and anti-war activist she cared for and eventually pursued for most of her life to return the key back to him. This is Satoshi Kon's Millennium Actress, a heartfelt story on the pursuit of love, examining how often life can imitate art, and how much of an artist's own soul, whether a painter, actor, director, writer, or any other form of artistry, is poured into their own work. Additionally, Millennium Actress considers how time stays still for nobody via Kon's psychologically emotionally intelligent vision, enhanced by Susumu Hirasawa's luscious synth score, and that while time may never stay still, time doesn't necessarily erode us either. Satosh Kon is an unmistakable influential figure within cult animation. His style of meshing the unreliability of memories and metafiction reveals a psychological depth within his characters, finding emotionally resonant scenes where fiction and the character's reality becomes united. Within Millennium Actress, Kon further enhances his own cine-literate storytelling, which is abundantly clear in how Millennium Actress swiftly shifts from recounting Chiyoko's own personal experiences into a scene in which Chiyoko is performing a dramatic role that illustrates a semblance to her own life story, reflecting her own personal quest in seeking the artist she loves. These moments of metafiction, stories within stories, becomes a method of amplifying Chiyoko's deepest emotions, motivations, and goals in a way that indicates how she is more willing to open herself up within a dramatic role rather than face to face. Even in her interview with Gen, there are brief tangents where both Chiyoko and Gen break into character from Chiyoko's numerous films. It's in Kon's great ability as a director that this blurring boundary between the film's reality and its inner fictions never becomes overwhelming, but can often be exciting and poignant. Expanding on how Chiyoko's performances within her film career mirrors her own goal to meet her elusive artist once again, Millennium Actress is a gorgeous expression of how life imitates art. As Satoshi Kon's cine-literate nature expands on Chiyoko's versatile career, as well as expressing his own admiration for the variety of Japanese cinema, we learn that Chiyoko starred in samurai epics, melodrama, war films, science fiction, and even kaiju movies, a secondary motivation for her career being that during World War II, amidst Japanese nationalism, civilians were poor, without food and clothing, seeking an escape through cinema. Through this myriad of genres, Satoshi Kon recognises, no matter how outlandish the premise may be for these films, there is a clear sense of art reflecting our lives, and that is often due to the artists pouring their own heart and soul into the work to create something which resonates beyond itself. For example, Chiyoko's first acting role requires her to play a girl in Manchuria seeking an artist, just like her own personal search for the artist she nursed during his escape from authority. The film's lead actress, Eiko, chastises Chiyoko's unnatural delivery of the dialogue, which encourages Chiyoko to adapt, using her own personal motivation to see her artist once again, fueling the improvement of her own performance. As art becomes a reflection on personal life, therefore Chiyoko's life becomes a reflection of her art, as her pursuit for the artist from this point on often reflects the film. Without Chiyoko pouring her own soul into this role, it's likely that her career as an actress would never have taken off, and that her positive influence on others, especially Gen, would not exist. A significant motif within Millennium Actress is time. Emphasised by a role Chiyoko took within a samurai epic, a spirit reminiscent from Kurosawa's Throne of Blood tempts Chiyoko to drink a thousand year tea, lying that it will take her life and help her reunite with her lord and lover. What cannot be reunited in life can be reunited in death, the spirit says. As the lady Chiyoko drinks the tea within the film, she is tormented to pursue her lover for the rest of her days, similar to how Chiyoko's personal life is often filled with the pursuit of her artist based on semi-leads and suspicions regarding his last known whereabouts. Time clearly waits for nobody, and that's true of Chiyoko too. The longer she is unable to find the artist, the more she forgets about him, the more she worries he won't recognise her, the colder her trail on him becomes. 
time becomes a potentially tragic motive here. We want Chiyoko to reunite with this kind artist, but the longer she's unable to do so, the more unlikely it seems. The fantasy of her pursuit is sobered by the reality of its more likely outcome. There's a layer of relatability here for the viewer. The longer we hold off from taking good opportunities, the harder it becomes to later accept those same opportunities, the passage of time emphasising remorse. However, this isn't all doom and gloom for Chiyoko. Gen, early in his interview with Chiyoko, provides her with a gift, a key she lost decades ago on a film set. And it's this key, which once belonged to her artist, that rekindles her memories and inner youthfulness. Time has taken its toll, her memories gradually faded as she grew older, and her pursuit of the artist quietened. But with the reignition of this key, time is unable to take away Chiyoko's inner flame. Her perseverance to reunite once again with her artist perfectly complements what becomes a beautiful conclusion to a film that serves as an ode to humanity's need to create art, humanity's need to find a personal pursuit, a motivator, a drive, and as a tribute to humanity's relationship with time. As the spirit who once haunted Chiyoko suggested, what cannot be reunited in life can be reunited in death. In conclusion, Satoshi Kon's Millennium Actress is a gorgeous embrace of how life imitates art, how artists pour their heart into their creative medium, and how time may stop for nobody. But that time cannot take away our aspirations. It is never too late to continue one's own personal pursuit. For Chiyoko, and many others, a single goal may be a lifetime pursuit. Others may recognise their pursuits later in life, but to have rekindled a motivational drive is something that time should never be allowed to erode. It's clear why Millennium Actress remains a favourite amongst Satoshi Kon fans. A special thank you to my incredible tier patron supporter Gil and my super tier patron supporters Constantin Bombelli and Jamie. 